Hello and welcome to training vlog number five. It's been a hot minute, but we're back. Um, so I just wanted to start this video off by saying that I have got a couple of spots open for online coaching at the moment. So if you are looking for some help with your nutrition or you're looking for some support with your training programming, I offer both of those things. Um, and you can go head over to my site, uh, list, uh, which will be, will be linked in the description below. If you want to check out what I offer at the moment and maybe come on board with me to make some changes. Uh, so for training vlog this week, kind of got a collection of clips here over the last couple of weeks. Um, coming to the end of my rehabilitation phase uh, for my back pain that I was experiencing. And I've got to decide at the end of this week what I'm going to do next. So watching back a little bit of footage, going to do this week's worth of training, see how things are, and then try and make some rational decisions about the plan going forward. So here you can just see me doing some floor press. Um, this is something I'm particularly bad at at the moment, so I'm trying to clean up my technique a little bit and maybe just improve the movement pattern, but I don't think I'll be taking it forward into the next block, if I'm honest, because I don't really enjoy it. Uh, I've been doing a lot more ab work, so specifically ab flexion work, because it's something I've avoided in the past. I think partially because I do have recurrent back pain, and I always thought this would make it worse. Or in my mind, perhaps I thought it would make it worse based on no evidence, which is probably not the way to go about things. But what can you do? We are incredibly flawed humans sometimes. So I've been doing these uh, and I do find them quite painful sometimes, particularly if I have to do them after I've deadlifted or pulled, which is what I did on this day. Uh, and they can be a, a wee bit uncomfortable in the bottom position where your back kind of goes from extension to flexion. But I'm hanging in there, getting through them. They're a bit better each week, which is are ultimately a positive thing for me. Uh, benching has been going okay. I'm not really expecting my bench press to peak or go up until I reach the end of this block and the volume calms down a little bit. And then when I go through, I think I'm going to do a two week deload or a two week pivot. Uh, and when I do that, I will pull back a lot on the bench volume. And then I expect to see my bench press will probably go up by a couple of kilo. Uh, that's usually what happens. And if the timing is correct, that's what's happened on all of my previous blocks where I vlogged this. So I'd be expecting bench press to go up in a few weeks time. But in the meantime, just getting the work done, chipping away and hoping the adaptations will present themselves when I give them an appropriate chance to. Uh, so the next thing we've got here is a foot elevated RDL. So on this day in particular, um, my back was hurting quite a lot because I think I had done the block pulls the day before and then I had to train immediately after the next morning and was not up for whatever it had I had programmed this day. So I just did these as an alternative because uh, I was giving them to a client anyway and I wanted to make, make some videos to send over to the client. Uh, so yeah, if you do coaching with me, I, I will go and put myself through every single thing that I will program for you in the coaching because I think that's a fair trade-off if you're a coach. You should definitely experience what you're programming for your clients. Uh, here we have some incline bench press. Uh, I'm really quite bad at incline bench press, uh, but when I think about it, in retrospect, I am a lot, lot stronger than I was when I first started doing these. Uh, so I didn't do them for a long time. I just did flat bench pressing because I was way too weak to do an incline bench press with the bar. Um, and when I started doing incline bench, I was doing like sets of five with just the bar because physically couldn't move any more weight at that time. So to be able to move 30, 30 kilos for me is uh, a fairly positive thing to see uh, after maybe only a year of doing those. Um, so here we've got an interesting new piece of kit that Jack has bought for us at the gym. So it's called a neutral grip bar or a football bar. Um, and as you can see, it's a neutral grip style of handle and the handles are not very uh, far spaced apart. So it's quite different to my normal bench press. It's quite a lot narrower. Um, and I'm just kind of getting the hang of using it, to be honest. Not fantastic, but working out the kinks as we go and just trying to grease that groove. Oh, here is me very awkwardly trying to get up on the oh, get up on the bar. Uh, so I've been practicing some hanging just to try and work on my grip uh, as I have reluctantly decided to take part in the Hannah Moves, oh, what's it called? The hang challenge, uh, dead hang gang, as I've been calling it in my head. So that's what I've been doing. Just been doing a couple of hangs every workout to try and work on my grip. Uh, here we've got some of the aforementioned block pulls, which have been absolutely destroying my erectors. However, 
even though they are hard to recover from even uh, an appropriately dosed weight they are having a substantial impact on how easy my deadlifts are now feeling so and it cannot be coincidental because i've never experienced this with any other variation pulling variation before i think it's just because i haven't done overload before so i think these are positive and i continue to see my deadlift feel easier every week and go up in weight when i have these block pulls also in the program I just have to make sure the deadlifting is far enough away from the block pulls that I'm okay recovered in time to do them. So those I think I will keep in. Uh, here we have got some Zercher squatting. Uh, this is my sort of supplementary squat exercise that I've got in the program at the moment. So I've got one regular back squat that I don't have any clips of here, which has not been going fantastically. Uh, that was the thing that was bothering me the most with the back pain and it still continues to be irritating. So I'm going to have to work out what I'm going to do for the regular back squat in my next programming block, as I would like to still be able to do it. But the Zercher has been a nice alternative to chuck into for a little bit of quad work with a little bit less back strain. Uh, here we've got a different kind of pull down machine that we got at the gym. Um, so it's more like the neutral grip style of pull down. And I've just been using this as it feels a little bit different to me to the other types of pull down that we, we have. Um, and it's a bit more like doing a neutral grip pull up, which I like. Uh, here's just a little bit of accessory work for my triceps. I tend to try and do this a few times a week, as I do notice that it does substantially increase the circumference of my triceps or the some circumference of my upper arm when I take my girth measurements. So I will keep doing the tricep extensions. Um, here is a very, very rare sighting of me doing some bicep curls, biceps curls, sorry, as I never ever do biceps curls, as you've probably noticed from the lack of them in other training vlogs. But I thought it was worth probably putting some direct bicep work in there. Not that I'm going to grow huge arms, just because, why not? It's a muscle group I have neglected, so there's a chance it will probably grow if I actually bother to train him. So that's always a win. Always nice to see. Uh, here's me just kind of practicing on a little bit of a you could potentially call it mobility work but it's still very difficult strength wise so overhead squatting I've worked up to the bar now and these are very difficult I still find them very challenging but and I probably shouldn't do them at the end of my workout because I'm very tired by that point usually so I find them more difficult but I'm not going to do them at the beginning because it's not a priority but I like doing them even though they suck and they're very difficult And the last thing I've got here is just another supplementary or accessory kind of squat movement that's very uh, light on my back, you could say. So I've just got the SSB uh, and I'm doing some split squats where I hold on to another bar. So it's kind of like the Hatfield, partly because my balance is atrocious and partly because I just like this style of <laughs> exercise variation. So I thought, why not just leave the bar there? Um, yeah, these are brutal. They're a bit like walking lunges in that I find them very damaging on the quads and the glutes. So I have to kind of be careful with loading and err on the side of caution when I load these. Otherwise, as they are new to me, that they may be slightly too damaging and interfere with my ability to squat later on in the week. So that's it for this training vlog, guys. I'll hopefully see you in a couple of weeks for the next one.